Hello, today I'm going to talk about a very important topic, how you can change your life in 30 days. Now, those of you that have followed my channel for a while know that I often talk about psychology issues even when it comes to wealth building and wealth preservation strategies because there are so many false paradigms that bankers and politicians have built around capital markets that you must understand the psychological aspects of investing to to successfully build wealth and preserve wealth as well. But today I'm just gonna talk about general life issues. So step number one would be to remove all negativity in your life. So what I mean by that is, if you have friends that are always negative, then these friends are subtracting from your energy instead of adding to your energy. You should surround yourself only with people that always add to your energy. So you need to start by subtracting all negativity in your life. So whether that's people that gossip all the time and are always negative, always critical of other people, then these are the kinds of people that you need to cut out of your life and surround yourself with people that are positive all the time because it does affect your mood as I spoke about in the previous video I did about Facebook's emotional contagion program where they demonstrated that if people only saw negative posts, if they removed all the positive posts on their wall, on their newsfeed, then people would feel more negatively. So it is important to always retain a positive attitude. That is step number one. So that is a step that you can begin today, not next month, not next year, but begin this today. So you have to cut all negativity out of your life during the duration of this time which i am going to say set at 30 days so do all these exercises over 30 days so you have to cut all the negativity out of your life um for 30 straight days at a minimum now i am the person that uh most ho hates routine but routine can be very helpful in making positive change in your life so i find that routine is helpful in giving you structure and discipline and making improvements in your life. So follow this for 30 days. I urge everyone to come back and uh, then post if you have seen an actual improvement in your on your outlook in life and your emotional well-being because I am positive that you will if you follow all these steps. So one way you can cut all the negative things out in your life is just make a list every day of the things that make you feel positive, things that make you feel negative. So for instance, if you are someone that is always going down, thumbs downing everyone's video, because there are certain people on social media that are just negative 100% of the time. So if you go look at this person's, uh, the moniker that they use, that they're on everyone's site, just trolling everyone on Twitter, on YouTube, on Facebook. They're always saying negative things all the time. And that will affect your emotional well-being, even if you're being paid to do that, because some people are being paid by others to troll other people. So that will affect your emotional outlook. So just try to use for 30 days um, the maximum. If you have nothing good to say, then don't say anything at all. So uh, make a list of all the things that make you feel negative, all the things that make you feel positive, and one by one, cut all the negative things out in your life and when you have cut all the negative things in, out in your life or the things that make you feel negative that is day one of the 30 days that you have to uh, basically take all these steps number two start your day off with something positive every day to set the tone for every day so whether that is listening to a song that makes you happy uh, whether it's reading a passage from a book that makes you happy Find something that puts you in a good mood, uh, whether it's looking at a photo of your child, of your dog, or your cat, or saying hello to your children in the morning if you have kids, uh, saying hello to your best friend in the morning if you have a best friend. Um, do something every day that makes you feel good to set the tone for the day and make this routine. Again, do it for 30 straight days. Because have you ever heard that saying, like, this person woke up on the wrong side of the bed and just that bad negative beginning to the day can set the tone and give you a negative day for the whole entire day. So it's important to set a positive tone for the entire day. So find something that makes you happy every day 
and do it as soon as you wake up in the morning. First thing in the morning. Do it every day for 30 days. Step number three. Think of something that you did that made you proud within the last three days. Okay, so if you can't think of anything that made you proud in the last three days, that probably means you're not doing enough positive things in your life. So I would highly recommend one easy thing you can do um, that will make you feel good is to seek out a friend that's perhaps going through a hard time because not everyone is happy 100% of the time. If you think all your friends are happy right now, then perhaps you haven't really been checking up on your friends enough because everyone goes through ups and downs in life and a lot of times we don't even reach out to our friends that are struggling and just a simple hello a simple um, dinner with that person or lunch with that person can really cheer that person up I know that in the past uh, there have been times when I've had a friend that's been really down I did something tiny tiny for that person and that person has remarked Oh, that was the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me, which is kind of crazy because it's just a small little gesture that I made that I really didn't think was a big deal. But to someone that uh, is having a hard, difficult time in life, a little small gesture of kindness or generosity can go a long way. And I think that all of us, we don't do this enough. Now, I remember after 9-11, Actually, I wasn't there, but I had plenty of friends in New York. People said it was the best time to be in New York because everybody was so kind and generous to one another. So my whole thought is why do we need tragedies to be nice to one another? We shouldn't. People should be like that all the time, but it inevitably it fades. Whether it was 9-11 in New York, Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans, whether it was the devastating earthquakes in Japan, whether it was a tsunami in Thailand, you know, if you've gone to areas where there's been great tragedy, people are super kind and super generous and to one another. But that's something that we should strive for, I believe, all the time. And, um, you know, because people would always tell you how, who have visited such sites after such tragedy, how kind people are to one another and what a great feeling it was to be in that type of community where everyone is working together and everyone is trying to help one another and everyone like will say hello to each other and smile and try to be a positive force in other people's lives and I believe that is something we should strive for all the time so over 30 days yeah, it might be difficult to do this every day so I say at least once every three four days during these 30 days do something that brings joy and happiness to say uh, a family member or a friend or even a stranger in that time but just do something to bring positivity because that type of positivity is contagious and it does change the environment around you uh, externally as well as make really positive change internally in you as well now this last step is going to sound a little silly but uh, just trust me in doing this for the duration of this 30 days. Now, of course, it's going to be hard to not have any feelings of negativity or anger during those 30 days because you could get an argument with a friend. Um, you know, there could be things that you see or hear in the news about injustices that make you angry. But here's the key, okay? Because, of course, it's impossible to avoid any negative emotions for 30 days. But every time that happens, uh, have something small or something that you can carry around with you most of the times either keep in your pocket um, for a child it can be like a little small uh, stuffed animal or something cute like that um, when my grandmother passed away uh, and I was in Seoul uh, a girl in Korea bought for me like a little charm that you can attach to your cell phone so I keep that and I can I use this sometimes as uh, my little charm and this is what I'm going to say. Anytime you feel a wave of negativity come across your wave of anger, you feel yourself about to say something negative to someone else or write something negative down, um, just hold this charm and pass all your negativity into it, whatever it is. Um, and 
just allow all your negativity to dissipate and just take three deep breaths, okay? One, two, three. And just imagine as you're taking those three deep breaths that all your negativity is passing onto your charm and that it's being replaced by positive energy, positive vibes. Now, again, if you've never done this, I know it may sound silly, but it's very important uh, for you not to, anytime you feel negative during these 30 days, to immediately rid yourself of that negative energy. And this, you will find, is an effective technique and method for doing it, even though it sounds silly. So again, though this last step may sound silly, it's the most important step because if you do the first three steps and then allow something negative that happens during the course of your day to ruin your entire mood for the rest of the day, then it defeats the purpose of the first three steps. So to summarize, here are the four uh, behavioral changes that I encourage everyone to make for 30 days and try this out. And also, write down these four changes so you can keep it in a slip of paper that you look at every day when you wake up so you ensure that you're doing this and also keep it in your pocket or your wallet for 30 days. Okay, so number one is cut out all negativity in your life. Um, I also forgot one important thing about number, the, the first rule is also try to change your, not try, change your language for those 30 days as well. So every time that you find yourself saying a negative word like hate, instead of saying hate, uh, focus on something positive like I love this about this person or I love this about my job or I love this aspect. So use the word love as much as possible. Cut out the word hate because language is very powerful and you'll find that also changes uh, the way you think, uh, the way you use language. Number two is to start every day with something routine that you do the same thing every morning the first time you wake up that puts you in a positive mood that sets the tone for the day, okay? Number three is to do something that makes you proud, makes you feel good every three to four days. Uh, so make sure you do this because the act of giving, as they say, also will bring more good things into your life. So just like the part of cutting all negative language out um, you manifest what you put out in as far as your energy out there. So if you're always hating on other people. It's going to bring more hate into your life. So if you start being more positive, you start loving more, doing positive things, you're also going to receive a lot more good things and you will find this to happen. Maybe it's not going to happen immediately. Maybe it will even come after those 30 days are over. But hopefully, this will change your entire constitution and the way you behave. And then the last part, number four, is of course, is to always check all negative thoughts, negative emotions, negative actions. So as soon as that happens, remember, carry around something small, even if it's a coin, if it's a little charm, if it's a ring, find something to carry around and then just to let that absorb all your negative emotions and then replace it with positivity every time you are on the border or you actually cross over that line into something negative. Do this for 30 days. And again, I urge everyone to do this and I urge everyone to come back and comment and how that changed you. So that would be sometime in the beginning of August. So please not only do this experiment, come back and let me know and tell me how this actually changed and if it worked for you. Because I am almost positive it's going to work for almost everyone that tries this to change, make positive change within themselves. Okay, again, thanks a lot for watching and as always, remain intensely curious. Oh, and also don't forget, smile more every day as well.